so uh, first basic thing what uh, we can do means uh, first what you need to do when we talk about the py uh, pandas and any library first you need to import okay so how to import import uh, pd uh, pandas as pd okay so that is the first step you need to do then only you can use the pandas library okay as well as you need to check pwd so there this is the my present working dictionary and i need to save any file in this present working dictionary then i uh, no, no need to give the path okay directly you can call and if a file is available in another path then you need to mention the path name and you can call that particular file uh, and uh, what type of the file you can call you can call means many type like html file also you can call last time i think we discussed that point now mm. as well as uh, csv file you can take the data from github also so there are a lot of way. so okay uh, like pd yeah, underscore read if i will do and when i enter uh, the ship tab then you will get uh, no no pd dot read i'm sorry and if i press ship now uh, only a tab if i press then you can see there csv file read excel and many many type of the file json file html file pickles so these are the different different files uh, you can read by use of the pandas library uh, just press tab and you will uh, get all the information and if i want to use csv okay then csv and you can after csv you need to put the path of the csv file or uh, uh, one minute i try to take some data so already we taken the one data na last time yes sir. i think what is the name of advertising advertising okay i will take that hmm. advertising So directly you can call or you can call advertising, but you will get the error. Why you will get error? You need to mention the type of file. Like this is the CSV file, so dot CSV. Then only you can open. I think this is not working uh, because I overwrite uh, in the last session. So one minute that will be available in the download <coughs> session or maybe there is the empty car csv data is available then we will take that data one minute huh? empty car csv data okay so this data is available i try to take this data okay so here uh, some car related information is given like a uh, model with respective uh, what is the displacement what is the means uh, hp means uh, uh, horsepower what is the weight as well as many information is given you will you can go through the detail about this data but i want this particular data so how you can call this particular data you need to call on row okay then use this particular link okay and I, if i call this particular link in my uh, python uh, platform one minute uh, class by here if i call then it will open okay this is the raw and now you can see the data is available in your platform okay model mpg and whatever the thing cycle means you need to read about this data then you will understand so first uh, when you analyze any data first you should understand about the data key what is the independent variable in the data what is the dependent variable and what actually i want from this data so according to that you need to do the analysis means what is the objective that you need to set uh, before the analysis okay so uh, this is the means uh, how to call any type of the data you can call okay by uh, means by github you can take by kaggle also you can take but you should know uh, how to call the data okay so any doubt how to call the data from github <coughs> already we discussed in the last session right now uh, okay so uh, what what the thing means i want to see this is the i need to assign as a variable right so i will assign this one as a one variable pd.read is done but i want to use this particular file again so i just assign df 
and now if I call what is the df then it will show the entire table okay means you need to call then only it will show anything that is the variable means you create a one container there you will put all the data so here I create the container is df you can create anything okay instead of df you can write data you can write as per your convenience okay now uh, the next means what type of data that I want to see so uh, already we discussed in the last time okay this is the uh, means a data frame actually df okay I'm sorry type df then this is the data frame okay data frame in the pandas when we talk about the data frame is nothing but the uh, table okay means it is a tabular form means a structured data okay you I think you are aware about the structure and unstructured data structure means in tabular format unstructured means like video email. audio email these are the unstructured data so uh, this is the type of df means it shows k it is a data frame means it is a table okay now uh, what i want to see the shape means what is the dimension of this uh, uh, data okay so you can see the shape one minute df dot i think shape ah, shape is Huh, so you can see how many uh, number of uh, this row present there are 32 row present and 12 is the column so like that you can uh, easily see the uh, this uh, dimension of or you can say the size of your data okay now uh, I want to see uh, this already I discussed now head you can easily see as well as and uh, everyone write with me okay means uh, do the coding with me then only you will uh, able to do in your exam okay if you need a time then i will go slowly no? Okay. So, uh, df dot tail. How to see? Means the bottom uh, five. Bottom five also you can see. If you want to see bottom ten, then you need to mention here bottom ten. Okay. If you want to see bottom hundred, whatever you want. Okay, that you can easily check by use of. Uh, this uh, head and tail command okay so like that you can check the data uh, again uh, one more data I will take uh, like uh, okay so, so here I will go and uh, let's see that Assistant professor professor like this data uh, salaries uh, professor like that this is the github link call means uh, salary dot csv uh, professor means professor uh, assistant professor what are the salary that mention of the particular organization okay so this is again you need to click on the github link now here you can see the rank is given like professor associate professor and assistant professor discipline is given like a b and it may be like uh, finance and uh, operation like that okay and how many phd how many I means services how many year happen in the services as well as what is the thing uh, okay the gender is given as well as the salary is given okay so this data i want to use so click on the row <coughs> when you click on the row you will get the, this link you can use this link what will you say to professor uh, one minute yeah. i will go professor, ah, professor professor salary dot csv professor and uh, type github then you will get some data
मिला क्या ओके क्लिक ऑन डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन हियर यू विल गेट द डेटा एंड हाउ टू कॉल द डेटा बाय क्लिक ऑन रॉ ओके देन यू विल गेट अ कॉमा सेपरेटेड वैल्यूज एंड नाउ यू कैन कॉल एंटायर दिस लिंक इन योर पाइथन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट ओनली आई डिड ओके यू गॉट द लिंक अभी इधर ही तो डिस्कस किया ऐसे जस्ट सर्च सैलरी डॉट सी एस वी प्रोफेसर गिटा देर क्लिक ऑन द फर्स्ट सेट दैट इज डेटा एनालिसिस एंड विजुअलाइजेशन हियर अगेन क्लिक ऑन द रो एंड यू कैन कॉल दैट पर्टिकुलर लिंक ओके सो uh the next data. means we call the data set data, 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 and now data, data, i want to see the columns so how you can see again i need to assign one variable then only i can call okay so df1 this is the i again assign the data now if i call what is the df1 that is nothing but your this uh, uh professor uh, details data okay now uh i want to see the columns so c u l u m n s this is the columns and you can see the entire column which are present inside the uh your data set okay so uh we checked already means what is the type of df1 that we will get all uh, df1 that we will got the data frame only means it is a table and now uh, i want to check inside the data what is the type of the column that i want to check okay so how you can check df1 df dot uh, d types okay then you will get means df1 inside we are going na so use the d types okay so here you can got the idea means in my rank column what type of the data present in rank column object object is nothing but strings so string type of the data present inside the rank when i go through the discipline that is the another column their data again object type and when we talk about the this phd it is in the form of integer as well as services that is integer and uh, sex that is object and salary that is the integer okay so uh, integer 64 means it save because our pc working in 64 bit so it save the data one data into the 64 bit that's why it is given okay so any doubt how to identify the column types okay so a uh, descriptive also we did right in the last time but okay df dot describe okay so that already we done and next okay this is the my df1 i already we discussed this is the df1 okay and the next point i want to see only pid uh, column then you can easily call right df1 and uh, pass the pid into the capital bracket that is the one way okay and you will get i think pid ifs and this should be made so here a small it is given now uh, one minute how to how they return here okay one minute ye column name uh no that uh, column name only i i actually so call but no you can call double bracket also why i'm not able to call one minute so df1 na oh df1 one. that's why you can call double brackets in that will not impact it ah uh, so actually this is the df1 i wrongly call uh df now you able to see right now you able to see the data <coughs> one more way uh, instead of uh, i am not interested to write but you want to call only single column then use df dot pid then also you can call or uh, one minute why df1 okay df1 df1 dot pid means you want to call only one column then you can use this type of the command also means instead of uh, putting the capital bracket you can directly write df 
uh, then you will get the entire data set with respective of uh, that column now uh, we already discussed how to identify the descriptive analytics uh, with respective the data okay so that is nothing but the df dot describe and you will get the entire descriptive analytics but with respective of the numerical data you will get okay so here df1 dot describe and you will get uh, one data describe now you will get the entire descriptive analytics inside uh, this means by use of, of this single one command you will get the entire descriptive analytics okay of your data so even uh, uh, you want to change the direction means I want uh, this all the thing in the in the transpose mode you can change this column into the uh, row and row into the column okay so you just need to put the transport dot t and you will get entire data set in the means whatever as per your requirement you can change okay so now you can see the total data with respective uh, the each uh, column that is the given so in PID the total data is 78 in services 78 and salary 78 so by you so this descriptive analytics you can say okay uh, there is no null data since all data is present because if I if I see what is the df1 dot shape uh, is a tuple one minute huh? dot shape so 78 6 and I am getting the all 78 data what is the mean of the PID means they are already given means mean is 19.7 what is the services that is a 15.05 that is a mean means you can say average average generally we talk when we uh, uh, means call the population okay and when we take a sample size then in that particular condition average is nothing but mean okay so now standard deviation are you aware about the standard deviation aware right means uh, it is you can say indirectly a variation okay so how to measure the variation by use of the standard deviation you can measure the variation like there are some uh, when we talk about the speed of your bike so it may be vary from uh, 40 to 60 what is the mean that is a 50 so it vary with respect to the 50 mean so how much variation with respect to the mean that is nothing but the standard deviation i think you are aware about that all the thing yeah you already go through right <coughs> so now one more point key i want to uh, analyze uh, means i want to descriptive analytics for one particular column so how you can do just a df1 and i want to call uh, which one i call okay salary so this is the call i'm calling the single column right yes now dot what you need to do just what we did earlier describe okay and you will get the uh, descriptive analytics of the single column okay so now you can identify means you can easily see the descriptive analytics of the entire thing okay so like that you can do the descriptive analytics any doubt no. doubt no Aapka ho rahe? and type type with me huh? each each line type with me then only you uh, means you will able to do in the exam here you will understand all the things but in the exam you can't do means uh, i already experienced the pgdm paper there one a student nicely solved all the things through up but another student unable to solve in um, even they type with me in the entire session means 1 to 20 i already told you type with me then you will get some practice and you can explore more thing you will get the interest that's why Okay. Okay. So now uh, there are also max mean also you can identify with respect to the uh, entire data set. Okay. So I, I hear my data set is DF1. Okay. You can put any name that is a just variable. And now I want to see what is the max. Okay. So by use of the max function, you can call the what is the maximum. So here, uh, when means it will give the maximum with respective of the entire data set. Okay. So in my data set, there is the column 
uh, total I think the six column so with respect to the six I am getting the uh, this uh, maximum okay so when I talk about the rank their professor is the means maximum so it will goes like that uh, assistant associate it comes a a and p is the max okay when we talk about the index okay when i talk about the discipline there again a and b two discipline is given so b is max when you talk about the phd there 56 is the max services that is interior data there 51 is max and uh, gender there again female male so male is the maximum okay and uh, uh, salary is is maximum is i think this one is uh, 186960 and i'm sorry i, I wrongly interpret uh, this thing discipline b is given means b respective means maximum time the frequency of b is more okay and uh, again uh, here in the gender uh, the frequency of male is more So like that you can see the minimum also <coughs> df1 dot min and you will get the minimum like what is the minimum here so uh, associate professor is the minimum means you can say in the entire data set the discipline uh, a is minimum the frequency is minimum okay PLT is minimum one and services minimum is zero the gender female is a minimum and the salary minimum is 57,800. Okay. Uh, as well as uh, there one more uh, thing like you can calculate easily mean of any data set like df dot I just interested in the mean. So, okay. So you can call the mean also. Now you will get the mean. Uh, this type of the error means you can ignore okay and if you run again then maybe it will not come okay it is coming but you can ignore now here the pid uh, what is the mean of the this pid column that is given services uh, means what is the mean of the services that that you can identify and the salary mean means the average salary is 10 lakh uh, i think 10 lakh no 1 lakh uh, 8000 okay like that you can see uh, one more thing I want to round this one so uh, I think it will work uh, so round means here I am putting uh, by default it will give you the one but I will put okay two so by round figure you will get the dot after decimal you will get the two value you can change like that okay Okay, now uh, I want to see uh, in the discipline and okay, I again call the data set uh, DF1. This is the, our data set, okay. And uh, when I go to the discipline, there B and A, these are the two discipline inside my data. I want to see what is the count of uh, this A and what is the count of B. Means how many B present inside a column and how many A present inside a discipline column that I want to see okay so how you can check there is the one more function like you need to call just uh, and uh, one more thing I did all this thing with respective of entire data set df okay but someone asked okay uh, what is the maximum salary so how you can identify maximum salary. Ah, so df1 dot salary dot so very good like that you need to means uh, when you go to the industry and if you work operation analytics or even a data analyst then they will ask some question okay, this is the data and identify this this thing okay and there may be the 10 lakh uh, row may be present inside the data I have in my company uh, we got the data from sensor so uh, there 1 GB Excel file is available so you can't have open that 1 GB in Excel okay you need to use python only so that type of the data will come and in future definitely the data is continuously increasing because iot and lot of smart technology right now using okay yeah. in our means uh, i'm working there uh, we got the data like in actually we uh, check the behavior of driver okay so by use of the mobile 
we are checking means how he is driving we are working in the insurance so what is the driving behavior if driving behavior is good less brake and the no, uh, means sudden acceleration is not given so we will give some reward okay, okay your driving is safe and you will get this so this is the encouragement of uh, people they can drive safe and as well as in that case insurance also saves some amount of money because claim is less so it is a win win situation so okay sir ye float to up stream mein farak kya hota okay float means the decimal data this is like a 25.35 that is a float okay. in decimal you get like integer means how many uh, student present inside the class that is the integer means you can call 7 8 9 10 like that only when i talk ki what is the percentage in your 10th that is the you will say ki okay 75.67 that is nothing but float <laughs> and a string means what is your name like uh, means uh, prince uh, whatever the name okay prasad that so uh, df1 <coughs> dot uh, salary and if i want to see the max so you will get the max okay like this is the maximum salary the minimum salary also you can check what is the average of the salary that also you can check by of by use of mean the same thing just you need to call that particular column then apply mean max whatever the thing okay even you can calculate the standard deviation also all the thing you can do dot std and you will get the standard deviation so i will try here only std i think the command uh, yes this is the standard deviation how to calculate the standard deviation you know right how to calculate mean mean uh, in red under root uh, x minus mean upon n minus 1 depend okay n, n, n for n population n minus n 1 for sample yeah Look. so like that you can calculate okay now uh, uh, okay this info also there one more thing huh? okay, uh, if you want the more detail just you want to detail of the entire data set df1 info and pass this you will get entire data set information okay like here you can see uh, means it is a data frame means it is a table what is the range of index means there total 78 entries okay 0 to 77 and uh, here you can see the column is there any null value present so no means none null means there is no null value present so like that you can see the entire data means how much memory utilization is with this data that is the 3.8 kb so entire thing you will get by use of df1 info means just you need to type info and you will get the entire information okay Okay, uh, then what we can do, describe is done, count is done. Huh. Now come to the uh, that question. Ki, okay, uh, I want to see how many A present and how many B present inside uh, uh, this uh, discipline column. Okay, that I want to check. So how you can check? You aware about that group by, group by you heard? No? Okay, so DF1, what I will be do? DF1, okay. And then I need to use group by. Okay, before that value count. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Before that, I need to explain the value count. Okay, so df1 dot. Uh, what the thing I want to call? Okay, so just I call the df1. I will check. Okay, discipline. So I I am interested in this discipline. So dot discipline. You will get the discipline related data. And after that, if I use the value count value underscore counts this okay so value count even you can call df1 by use of the capital bracket also you can call okay means capital bracket and you can call that particular means i am calling the discipline column only okay now value count means it will give the means how many number of the b present and how many number of the a present inside the column that idea it will give you okay so in b means uh, maybe uh, you have some data and uh, someone will ask how many male and how many female present 
in the particular data so you can easily identify by use of the value count okay okay so can you identify how many a male and female present inside the data set identify and let me know Okay, you can easily identify, right? Uh, again, you can call the DF1 and you can check the data. So this one, and I want to see the count, okay? In which column I will get, that is in the sex, okay? So I will put dot, all are small, okay? So I'm calling the sex column, okay? Now I will call, uh, what I will do, value count. Okay, so male, female, both are same inside the data set. Okay, so hmm, any doubt? The yeah. phone dot discipline dot value dot value underscore counts. counts, counts, counts and Mm -hmm. Recording is start. Okay, so group by here you can identify on the basis of the <coughs> unique value present inside the rank. You can identify me. Okay, so I want only PAD and salaries. Okay, yeah. so group by DF dot group by rank that that I done means now I categorize rows on the basis of the three thing three unique value present. So I categorize now mean but here this is the output right. And here what I want, only two thing I want. Yes, this yes. is the entire thing, na? So, uh, so use because two column you want na use two capital bracket and inside call this two. Samja gya? Uh -huh. <coughs> mean ke andar nahi. Ham, uh -huh. kitna chahiye pehle? Wohi. Means now we have that category, means table, table in the means selected row there present and all thing. Okay, now there I want to uh, I want only these two PID and uh, salary or unka mean nikalna na mujhe. Hmm. Okay, so now PID and the next one I'm sorry here it should be called PID and salary. Okay. Now go on. You got only two, right? Okay, so the next point, can you tell me uh, the number of count who have salary more than one lakh twenty thousand. How many number of the professor present inside the data set whose salary more than one lakh twenty? How you can do? Means I am interested in salary. The first point is means what very basic point. I am interested in salary. So in DF one, I will call only salary. Okay, this is the salary. Now this should be greater than one lakh twenty. Use greater than or okay only greater than one lakh twenty. Ah huh, okay, one lakh twenty thousand. Okay. This is the command. Now, what is the output? Here you will get the output. What is the output? DF1 salary. This output means where the true false means true means yes, this is the first row. Their salary is more than 120. 
okay in the in the this one the next line their false is given false means the salary is less than it is not satisfying your condition like that are you able to understand the output yeah. now yes. i want only true Okay, so how you can call only true? So again, this is the entire thing, and this entire thing I will call in DF one. Then you will call means you will get only true value. Okay, so now I call. So this is the true value. There, the salary is one lakh twenty. Okay, are you able to understand? and i am interested in salary only na so again you can put here salary no issue are you able to understand yes. how i am writing okay now salary you can easily identify length of this uh, column what do you need to do can i put entire thing into the length yes. so how many 25. Are you able to understand the code? So, वापस करूँ. Sir, वो इसके पहले वाला एक बार करता हूँ. वो salary. हाँ, वो. Okay. Are you able to understand ना? Hmm. If you directly see the what is the land D F one dot salary, then you will not able to understand. Hmm. So you need to break entire code into the small small segment. Hmm. Then you can understand. Sir, ये regular show. so in uh, again i use i lock and i want to call 0 to 4 rows means the start will show it is related to a uh, row okay so 0 to 4 then it will call 0 1 to 3 even you can i want to see top 100 okay top 100 you can see here means 1 to 100 you want to see okay 1 to 100 Are you getting my point? Means how? Add से भी use कर सकते हैं ना. Add से भी. Add से भी, but this is also one way. Means you should know कि what is the role of I lock. That's why I'm. Index. Means कभी suddenly someone asks कि what is the I lock and means आपको पता नहीं चल रहा तो you should know. That's why. There are many way to solve the problem. Okay, but ये भी एक है मतलब. I identify what is the top, what is the bottom, okay? And what is the advantage? I will tell you one more thing. Okay, one to hundred is done. Now again, I I want to see this uh, row also, okay? A column also. Here zero to one to four I take up. Now I want to see this is the first means this is the zero rank is zero, discipline is one. Uh, this is uh, you can say. Uh, 2 3 4 5 5 total five. i want to see the discipline to services this column okay and okay 0 to you can say 4 and 0 to 3 let it be so what you need to do 1 to 4 and 0 to 3 so this is the beauty of i lock okay now i can also see means the required column okay so first means before the column uh, means before the comma here you can see na so before comma whatever the thing come that is the related to row and after comma what the thing come that is related to uh, column okay now you want suppose alternate ki i want in 1 to 4 okay but i want uh, jump by default there forward jump of 1 in the python that we discuss in the basics right but i want a 2 jump of 2 okay here so now you will get 1 after 3 like that okay it is kept for things okay the same thing you can do no in the column you can't do you can do then you will get i think only one yes, uh, two uh, means uh, you will get only two okay so like that by default their jump is one but you can put two three like that and you will get that okay now uh, suppose same indexing is working okay here df1 is our data and i want to call salary last column okay so how you can call df1 dot i lock i want to use the index that's why and if i pass minus 1 you will get the last uh, okay i lock minus 1 means this is the ha uh, this is the last row actually last row okay 
but if i pass this one i use this uh, symbol and this is the related to row i pass this one and if i see now now you will get the last uh, column why are you getting the last column are you able to understand because this after column this actually related to column, column yes, sir. and this one is related to row, row column. okay so in row i'm not passing anything so it will show the all row. rows 0 to 77 uh, but in column i mention minus one so what is the minus one here minus one is i think uh, salary last, last, last one last. in our database okay so now you can easily call now if you want any column any row you can call by use of i log function yes sir but uh, hmm. here it's not specifying that uh, not giving us the column name la upar de raha tha na discipline name Oh, ah, that is, I means we call a single column now. That time that you will time. get this type of doubt. Okay. So if I want last two columns, salary and uh, male or sex, male and female. Okay, last two, na? Yeah. Plus minus two. Two two minus one actually consider the minus two two uh yeah. what we can use ah it is actually go forward direction yeah. i'm sorry so uh, you can use direct like that so what is the total index zero you want as uh this one is the five no? one minute this one is suppose if i put six and here i put the uh, four you will get last two okay the same indexing uh, will work here yes. indexing type of okay and you want only six number and fifth number so you can call like that also okay i want only a uh, fifth index in the column so you can call fifth i want only three means what is the three there so you can call like that okay even in the row also you can do the same thing i want only first row means our uh, second row because in python I start with zero, zero. so this is second. the second there means one and three in means are you able to understand what is the point here i call here df1 again and let's see what is the thing so i i'm calling here one one means this line this is the second line okay yes, sir. and here i'm calling the three means this is the zero one two three in services you getting the this six right zero one two three services in service is the your third uh, index right and what is the thing there present that is the six okay. six huh? that's why i'm getting the output here six. okay So I think basic thing is done. Let's simple is done. Is done. Is done. Column is done. Okay. One more thing. Uh, how to add the new column? Okay. Yes. There already a DF one is present, and I are about to add something. Okay. So this is the DF. df1 okay and uh, what i want to do okay in df1 i want to add the new column so that is the suppose you can put uh, like uh, i want to add the ct okay and uh, what th what you want to put into the ct so there is one way you need to pass the entire values entire value. uh, means entire uh, 77 value and only one value you want to pass like uh, i want to pass the mumbai okay so uh, one minute huh? not need to write in the, this thing uh, just here you need to write mumbai okay so now uh, if i see 
okay, this equal to this df1 ct is not available so it will make a ct df1 ct a new column okay and then it will pass equal to what it will pass mumbai okay so i run this particular thing and now if i call uh, this one means what is the df1 i think it is a ct is coming now mumbai one column is added okay so like that you can add the column and uh, no need to subtract because you can call individually you can call na df1 then what you want to call that you can easily call yeah. okay so now hmm. यू कैन डू दैट मीन्स यू नीड टू एड देन सेवेंटी सेवन वैल्यूज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लाइक इयर मुंबई okay then you need to add like that then pass the, all the 77 so it will update all the set in all the 70s or uh, if i want to like have an excel we can uh, select the filter and filter some options and all those will be in mumbai and basically that you can do that type of the thing okay we will do one more. so i think uh, we uh, go for one another data and try to analyze key. okay what type of the thing we can identify okay so what data i think last time also i take the, the titanic data set that is available then i will take and start okay some analysis so how to do all the thing is possible but how to do that we will discuss huh? uh titanic data on github titanic data on github just go and uh, click here so this is the data set okay and here you can see passenger id is given in this particular incident how many means that particular person is survived or not survived p class means that is the class category as well as the name is given of individual person uh, as well as the sex is given age is given and a sip special means some data is given okay ticket is given fare is given ticket means there i think what is the thing is present that okay so these are the some data and we try to analyze this data but one uh, very important thing when you do the any data analytics operation analytics the point you should first understand the data okay so with respect to the industry what type of the data you need to understand then you can go ahead okay so that that is the initial stage so uh, this is the just for the general understanding i taking the data after that i click on the row because i want to use this data right and you can click this uh, link uh mera ja ja raha shayad nahi hai you need charger i have matlab mera ho gaya hai pull nahi abhi ye idhar uh now we start ha titanium date this day डेटा सेट हो गया okay so i assign this as a one variable then only i can use right yes. so can i assign as a data just i want to change so i return data okay and now if i call what is the data you will get the entire data set okay so now 
uh, I want to see the what is the first step. You need to check. Means these are the general thing. You check the head, tail. You means try to understand the data. Describe the data so you will understand the okay. What is the thing is present? Okay, I describe the data. Data dot describe. You will get the description, and now you can see there 891 is the okay. So this is the description. But before that, I want to know the shape of the data. So you can check the shape. I'm sorry. Data dot okay shape is spelling is wrong. One minute. Hmm? So now 891 is the total uh, row and the 12 is the column inside my data set. So the, here you can see the passenger ID how many count. This is the descriptive stats and here you can see how many count of the passenger ID that is the 891. How many survived that is the 891. Here also 891 but in each total count is 714 means some missing value present inside the data set. Okay. Here 891, 891, 891 but in each their missing value is present. Yes. Okay. So also you can check like the data dot is null. It will give you the is null uh, means false and true and means uh, you, if condition satisfy then you will get the true and if condition not satisfy then it will give a false means here condition satisfy here missing value actually is there null value present inside the first line uh, kb in column so that's why you getting the true okay so now is null and i want to see the sum of entire thing means how many true and with respect to the column so you will get like that so here also you can check ki, okay in age how many total missing value 177 as in descriptive also we identify here also we identify and in cabin how many missing there are 687 but what is the advantage why i want to do this thing already we identify in the this uh, descriptive stats right but descriptive stats only deal with the numerical data means by default mm -hmm. you can you can do that uh, means uh, category type also but by default it will deal with the uh, numerical mm -hmm. so there kpin related missing value not getting okay so maybe the one more question come okay uh, why I, uh, means how i can uh, describe that uh, category type of the data so what you need to do uh, df uh, this is the data i'm sorry so data dot uh, i need to check first types okay so d types you get the types okay now here uh, what are the uh, thing actually present this name uh, this uh, name is the cat uh, you can say uh, it is a category type of the data or a string the sex uh, this is the sex is the object okay means it is again uh, you can say category and uh, this cabin and embarked okay call this data only and then describe then you will get the category description so how you can call uh, use double bracket right and there i will call this only uh, the object type so first one is the name okay take name What is the second one? So I will put the second one is sex. Okay. And next is I think ticket. And what is the thing is given? Cabin and Embar. And I again call so you will get only object 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 okay okay so now instead of d type what I want describe so
okay now you will get the descriptive analytics or descriptive stats for category data also okay so now here in the cabin you can see the count is 204 means there how many missing 891 minus 204 okay so like that you can do the descriptive stats for category data also what is the unique means here 891 name are unique name obviously unique okay in the entire thing the when i talk about the sex they are only two because male female only two category mm -hmm. uniqueness in the ticket that is the 681 so maybe some uh, ticket price match somewhere mm -hmm. okay in the cabin there is the 147 unique category and embarked there are also three category what is the top means their name is given on the basis of the that uh, means again uh, this uh, when we talk about the programming it uh, read everything in the numerical 0101 like that so according to that there is the some number they getting on the b and obviously b is the top okay and the, again the male that is the top you can say and uh, these are the thing means on the top and what is the frequency of this data means like the name mentioned in the top what is the frequency of those data that is the one because the name only one time come okay and what is the frequency of mail that is the 577 okay and what is the uh, ticket frequency that is the uh, top means maximum ticket that is the 347082 and how much that is frequency seven total seven category means seven present their value is 347082 in the ticket as well as cabin also you can see embarked so like that you can interpret okay any doubt okay so again the how you can call there in many way okay so i want to see in the age how many missing value okay so already there in the sales we identify by use of the info and by use of the different command but uh, i want to do again uh, by some logical uh, code okay small logical code so what i want to do i'm interested in age how many missing value present that is the my age means uh, question so what where i'm interested right now in df or if you can say in the data i'm interested in age okay so i will call only age right so data dot age means i am interested in age only okay so one minute age i think a is capital right i'm sorry hmm. so now i am i am able to see uh age okay and the main next point i want to see is there null value present or not the is null dot is null okay equal to equal to true means i am comparing here i am not uh, passing the values that is not, if i passing as a i am taking the as a container and i am passing the entire data there i will use only single equal but here i am comparing so it is equal to true means this condition is satisfied or not so it will give the result like false false true if satisfied then it will give the true okay now i i am interested only in true true actually showing me the null value right so what you need to do you need to call entire this thing into your data right so what you need to do this data and i will pass this entire thing then you will get only true but i am getting the true but entire data i am getting okay so again i am interested in age only so i will call here age one minute okay so now you will get none, none, none means that is the null, uh, means not null value. Okay. Now, what you need to do means is null value, none means null value. So I want to see the length, then you will get the entire data set length. So what is the thing? 177. Okay. Earlier, what you got in the result? Earlier, also we did now 177. Age, they are 177 right and now by use of this line also you can add it so are you able to build logic yes, yes. yes. Hmm? okay okay so can you identify the maximum fair price what is the maximum fair
512.32 okay so can you identify the uh, the name of the person who gave the maximum price or maximum fare so what uh, what the thing here yeah? okay so like uh, i want to identify the uh, maximum fare okay so i am interested in the fare okay so fare there i am interested one minute uh, it is a data in my case i am not a tf i am i got the fare right and here i am interested in maximum only okay so what you need to do you can identify max max so if i pass this entire thing into the max then i will get the result on i got the result you did in different way data dot fair dot max and ah, that also and you can do means max then uh, put that uh, bracket in the empty empty or directly you can pass yes. both the thing you can do okay that is also one way okay so i got the maximum value right mm -hmm. the point is i want a name also so how i can identify the name how you can identify column i am interested in name i want to know the name kitna pay kisne kiya maximum one minute so df dot fair and equal to this one maximum price so what output you will get true false true false i am interested only in true true so what you need to do you need to call entire thing into the data yes sir right so i will call this entire thing into the data so what is the this is the again i will pass this data and i use the capital uh, bracket okay i pass okay so now you got the data in this data set this person actually gave the maximum price okay means total how many person there 1 2 3 3 and i am interested in name only so what you need to do name pass name okay data data ah, and even you can do the means uh, this name also dot name or you can call by capital bracket also okay any doubt So this three person like uh, at a row two fifty eight six seventy nine seven thirty seven. What me Sena and uh, Mr. Thomas and Leslie Varas. These three people paid maximum pay. Can you uh, tell me how many number of people survived in this incident and not survived? Can you identify that? Ah, five forty nine is survived and three forty two is not survived. Can you identify how many male and female present inside the ship? Same thing you need to do. Right? Instead, can you do how many male survive and female survive? Ah, that. Ah, that also you can do. That is little bit advanced. You can do. Okay. So, how many males survived? How many females survived? That you need to identify. So, how you can do? You can use group by also. Huh? first i pass i did the group by by uh, use of that particular uh, uh, this gender means uh, sex their male or female on the basis of that this row is divided right yes now what you need to do survive there in this particular data you want survived okay so again if i uh, directly do the value count then let's see what the thing is come value counts the value counts and one minute and there i am interested 
in uh, this one. Uh, what we can say? I'm interested in uh, this server. You got the point, right? Yes. First, I means the row there means many row present. Okay, so that that row I group by on the basis of the sex. Okay, mm. male, female, male. two categories. Now you have. In that, I I uh, I want. I am interested in survive. You have group two group already. There I am interested in survive. So that's why I call the survive. survive. And for that, I am doing the value count. Okay, so now on the basis of female, male, you can easily identify all the things. Okay, so can you identify how many number of the people and the uh, means persons or you can say uh, people whose age is less than 40 inside the ship? Less than 40. Can you identify 50? So here the question is how many uh, people whose age is less than 40 and not survived. Not survived means zero. Mm. So can I write equal to equal to zero? That is the condition number one. Okay. The next condition. This I will put into the comment. I kept into the comment right now. I'm not using this condition. Okay. Now again I call the data. Okay, and what is the second condition? Age, age. Yes. Huh. So data dot age dot age and less than forty. Forty. Okay. So less than forty. Pass. Okay. So this is the second condition. This one is second condition, mm -hmm. and. Uh, what I can say ki both the conditions satisfy that then only uh, I want the data okay so what I will do this is the my condition number one okay okay and what is the condition number two this is the condition number two okay and uh, I run this code so now both the conditions satisfy, then only you will get the true. Okay, and otherwise you will get false. Now I am interested only in true. I am interested only in true. So what I need to do, this entire thing I need to call into the data. Right? Okay. So data. And I will call entire thing. Sorry. Okay. So now entire thing there, this two condition is satisfied that data you are getting. Now, where I'm interested? Okay. I'm interested in age. In anywhere means you can take. Ah, age also you can take or anything you can take. No issue. So age you can take this is the thing. Uh, I'm sorry. I go to the next one. Uh, now what is what I need to do? I need to do. I need to identify the length and you will get the answer like 322 means these people actually uh, not survived and age is less than 40. You got the point? One minute, I will. I'm sorry, I forgot to start. Hmm. So here you can see separate. No, uh, default is given, but in separator again you want to explore what is the separator. So here maybe you can see. There many things is given entire function, but you can put the separator and how you can put one minute. I will tell you. Separator 
only ten minutes we have. By default, okay. So here you will get the separator as separator. I'm not getting this one. So uh, there by default that is one, but you can change this separator value. Okay. So I just uh, use this one. Okay. Uh, let it be this close, and now I will use here comma the separator is equal to what is the separator now? That is the semicolon, right? And now if I enter and let's see, now you will get the proper data. So you need to check many times the data is separate with the semicolon, many times it is separate with the column. So that time you can just need to change this separator. Okay. Okay. So this thing will come when you uh, continuously practice and then only you can uh, means uh, get this type of the error and you will solve. Okay, so all this error related solution available on Google, but you need to do some practice. Okay. So again, you will call here. This is as a anything data one and now you can start your descriptive analytics. You can identify okay in data one. Uh, like uh, try to solve this question at home. Okay, like uh, where I, in this particular where I should target which age is the means age range first categorize on the basis of the age range and where I I need to target. Okay, in education means uh, what education uh, people. So you need to do the group by education. Then you will get the category. Category wise uh, segregation, then identify okay, how many number of people are is willing to buy or not buy. So, what is the last column? One minute, huh? I will check. There you should target. Huh? Ah, so, yes and no means he will buy or not buy. That is given with respect to the each data set. So, we where I need to focus more that you can identify how many number of the defaulter people available in the data set. Means generally, which number means. Uh, means which education field or education category people are uh, doing this uh, default type of the thing in the loan okay and who has a maximum a loan taken already taken which age of the group which age, where, which age of the education and many things you can do okay so this type of the analysis uh, please do as a homework so you will get uh, means more hands-on experience okay so file can 